I've talked to my staff after uh, we received the information, and my question was that, uh, is this legitimate? Do we know where it was coming from with uh, sincerity and, and with knowledge? And the fact was yes. I, I was just surprised by the sheer number of people who logged on and took a look. We covered a lot more bases this way. It, it eliminates those anonymous comments. It forces residents and users to, to own their words. PlaySpeak had a very uh, unique positioning for us to be able to get to the people and then go back to them. We are the center of the lower mainland and the roads all come through just like Rome. All roads go through New Westminster. Traffic is our number one situation problem and things that we're trying to fix up for the citizens as well as the region. And uh, with the coming of the new Patella Bridge and with opening of the uh, new Port Man Bridge, um, it's even more important that we look at the transportation system. That's a, a long-range transportation plan. It guides the decision-making process for transport, that's walking, cycling, motor vehicles, trucks, transit, for the next 25 years and more. We also took the opportunity um, to consult people on TransLink's project to replace the Patella Bridge with a new six-lane bridge. So we did the Master Transportation Plan and Patella Bridge at the same time. We uh, needed to get as much input as we possibly could from the people to know what their thoughts were and what their inputs might be or what their fears might be. And uh, at the end of the day, to go back with the um, province and with the TransLink people to discuss where we're going. Often you can be influenced by a small group of people, but is that truly representing the community as a whole? The feedback we got on the Master Transportation Plan was we were asking questions about just the visions and goals, how the people, what, what people would like the city to look like in 25 years. We checked back with them, we, we think we're on the right lines. A little bit of tweaking. With Patella Bridge, it seems people aren't too worried about, what, about the bridge, they're more interested in what are the impacts to the livability. Will there be an increase in traffic, increase in trucks? And they definitely did want to explore other options, not just a six lane bridge. Having things like PlaySpeak are really important in getting the feedback from people who may not have otherwise come out to traditional you know, public information sessions. I think the fact that people have to register with PlaySpeak and give some sort of identification address, um, although that's confidential and people don't see that, I think it really helps gives us a level of comfort that these people are there, um, they're who they say they are. To be able to, to see where residents were commenting from, their actual neighbourhoods, for us was interesting because you don't always know, you know. Does one area of the city feel differently than the other? I think because it was a new tool, and I think because that uh, the people that came and explained it to us, they, they had uh, genuine credentials that was looking that uh, they knew what they were talking about. There was quite some longevity to how long the process was being put in place or the system. And so I thought uh, if someone put that much effort into it, uh, there's got to be some legs to this and let's get on it now because we had the need. The need was there right at that time. PlaySpeak will help us to be able to say no when we're going to do something. When all the information comes out, let's share it with the people. Uh, we're, we're not uh, dictators. We're people that have to work within the community uh, to build the community to what the people in the community want. They're the people who pay us and we want to hear from them. We're getting a broader, I think, sense of what residents are feeling. Giving somebody an opportunity to at least put their voice forward and their idea forward, I think we should be, be looking at that.